the Primus presents Egypt's New Galila City. New Galila, officially New Galila City, is a planned city in northwest Egypt. This city is supposed to lie on northern Galila Plateau, on the western side of the Gulf of Suez. The new city of Galila is located on the highest mountain plateau in the Red Sea area, between Ain Sakna and Zafarana. This city is an illustration of the Egyptians' government ambitious plans for dealing with urbanization and population increases. This city will serve the purpose of dealing with congestion and other issues due to urbanization most of the cities in Egypt are facing, extending over 17,000 acres. This new city pillars upon a balanced approach towards development and preservation of pristine environment. And for that, the detailed master plan focuses upon developing a sustainable, dynamic, mixed-use area based on a framework of land use, public land transportation, new road systems, and public spaces that integrate the existing ecological conditions. The city, after its completion, will include luxurious as well as middle-income housing, tourist resorts, a water park, a phosphate fertilizer factory, a university called Galila University. The city will also include Egypt's first Olympic village. Construction of the city started in 2015 and will be implemented in three phases. The city will be connected to Cairo, in other locations by a newly built highway. The most breathtaking thing about the city is the design for the 6-kilometer walkway by the edge of the plateau, with a steep drop of 200 meters. The promenade includes vantage points of the Gulf of Suez and surrounding plateaus, a bike track, a collection of cafes, restaurants, pedestrian paths, and shaded seating areas in addition, in addition to offering captivating vitas for the surrounding residential and tourist villages. A cable cart is planned for quick access between the city and shoreline communities. Riders will enjoy the scenic ride up and down the steep elevation within the serene atmosphere. Since the construction started in 2015, there has been a lot of progress. Around 80 national companies and 15,000 employees are working in this city. The Coastal Town Resort has been finished along with the marina, a food court in the Coastal Town Park, and the Galila Water Park. The massive desalination plant was finished in 2019. Phase 1 of the Isla Monte Galila is under construction, where 665 buildings containing 1,900 units are being converted right into the hillside. Before 2015 and 2018, a new road called Beni Suif Zafarana, with a length of 160 kilometers, makes a bridge between the Zafarana area and the Beni Suif of the Nile River. The length of the main Galila Plateau Road is about 82 kilometers on both sides, with the speed limit of the cars being 125 kilometers per hour. The roads are divided into three lanes that are secured from the risk of accidents by logistics. The construction process of this city is going at a decent pace, as the recent satellite footage of this city shows a lot of completed and semi-completed projects. Egypt's economy relies mainly on agriculture, media, petroleum imports, natural gas, and tourism. In recent years, Egypt has made continuous efforts to get in control of its economy and population beyond the established cities and hubs. This effort included efforts to dilute the effect of overpopulation by building independent urban centers and establishing industrial and economic zones that spur growth and increase productivity. Not only is the creation of the new cities allowing for more investments, but it also creates new destinations for tourists. Given the fact that tourism is a major source of revenue for Egypt, and indeed, a great source of pride for Egyptians, the development of the tourism industry beyond the traditional destination is an extremely efficient way to attract tourists with different preferences. El Galala City is part of the government's plan to expand its tourist attractions as well as its urban living spaces to presently unpopulated areas. It's expected to be a prime tourist destination with many resorts and tourist villages, which links the new administrative capital to the Red Sea governments. As a unique tourist attraction site, this project has already received investments of over $100 million in just the last few years. With projects like Egypt's new administrative capital and the Galila City, Egyptian economy is bound to flourish. With a GDP of 8.2 trillion US dollars, Egypt might become the seventh richest economy in the world by 2030. The number of projects currently in the pipeline should sustainably spur Egyptian economic growth. These projects are accompanied by a set of laws that make it significantly easier for investors to do business and participate in national projects. One of the more important reasons the government has established these mega projects is not simply to expand foreign investment, 
but also to allow for the creation of living space outside the confines of Greater Cairo, which is becoming increasingly dense. So guys, that's it from our side. Let us know what you think about this futuristic city. And also, how do you think this city will impact the Egyptian economy? If you like this video, please hit us with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We will catch you in the next one.